Hey guys, <clears throat> and uh, we're doing another video. <clears throat> um, this is first update on the go kart project. I've got it all completely assembled. That's frame, pan, <clears throat> um, pieces of it everywhere, basically. And there's the rear section of the frame. This was that sprocket I was telling you about. I think it's a number number 25 sprocket or something like that. And <clears throat> that does not match the sprocket of the transmission. But I got a new sprocket. I think it's about this size. <clears throat> On the way, it'll be here. Um, got some new chain as well. Because, well, that... This is the chain that came on it, and it's tiny, tiny, tiny. The other stuff I think I'm getting is 8 millimeter. There's brake discs. <clears throat> um, anyway, started polishing the wheels. Um, this is the first one I got done. That's about as good as I'm going to get with it, because it's kind of a pain, honestly. Um, <clears throat> this is what it started as. As you can see, all those machine lines in it, they're inside here too, and on this as well, and this is what we wound up with. Like I said, that's about as polished as I'm going to get it. Um, <clears throat> I took some of the machine lines off with this little uh, buffer pad, and... Well, I may try doing something different with sandpaper first because <clears throat> it put a lot of heavy scratches in here. You can kind of barely see them in there now. Anyway, so I stepped up sandpaper from... <clears throat> Let's see, what did I start with? I tried doing 600 or 800 and it wasn't enough to take these scratches out. So I ended up going back down to 150. <clears throat> And I ended up putting a bolt and washers in here and then spinning it with my impact. And I mean, it wasn't balanced by any means, but it did good enough to get to this point. So that's where I'm going to end up leaving this one. And I've only got seven more to do like that. So anyway, <clears throat> uh, fuel tank showed up. Brake lines and throttle cable showed up. Let's see if I can. This, I think, is what the brake lines are supposed to look like. I had found one of them. But, oh, they're over here. Yeah. I got this uh, brake line custom make it happener guy. It'll, uh, anyway, <clears throat> I can trim up some brake lines or make them whatever length they need to be so this is supposed to be one of the rear brake lines this is how it came to me this is the brake line kit that I got uh, has two mountain bike style brake lines in here so we'll assemble those this one's supposed to be the throttle cable so we're making progress. <clears throat> making progress. We will uh, keep ripping that bad boy apart. I might even try to get that engine fired up just to see what it does or whatever. We'll see what happens. Run it off this fuel tank. And uh, it's got a little filter down inside here. I think I'm going to mount it like this. Just so it's easier to, well, it would be easier to fill like this, but, you know, it would help if you guys could see, I suppose. But, anyway, you can kind of, kind of see that little filter deal in there, but, anyway, guess we'll see what happens there. Yeah, <clears throat> got my drill press together, my giant hat on too got my drill press together i bought this a while ago it's actually 
pretty tall, honestly. I was kind of shocked. You know, flat surfaces are catch-alls, so. Oh, I'm going to have to get that back out of there somehow. Anyway. <clears throat> uh, those wheels are two-piece, so they came right off. Just right apart. And here's the little brake calipers. Tiny little brake discs in here. Uh, I mean, brake pads inside there. and These just pull. So, yeah. Oh, that's not going to work at all, is it? I'm going to have to figure out like a almost like a throttle cable adapter to go in there to hold on to that brake line. Hmm. Well, that's probably why that one looks the way it does. Yeah, anyway. So, <clears throat> yeah, there's, there's an update. Yeah. Anyhow, we'll uh, talk to you guys later.